But before I do that, I notice I made a mistake here. You see how you can see daylight, or really you're seeing a crack here, between the wall and the caps. It's because I didn't draw that line down far enough. Easy to fix though. So all you have to do is click on the area you want to change. Go over here to Area, Edit Area. I'm going to zoom in now with the F10 key. I see what I did here. And pretty much that's it. It's fixed. Click OK to exit that menu. So now to make these tones look a little more 3D, keep in mind we, we want to make it look like it's going off in this direction here. So we'll draw those in. You'll see what I mean here in a second. I'm going to split that difference We're right about there. And you probably wouldn't even really see them down there. So now I've drawn in that area. Again, I'm going to grab the caps that I drew in. And again, I can see I've left a gap, so I'll have to go back and fix that. So let's go to free, because what we want to do is we want to lay these stones down so that they look like they're actually laying down, even though it's really technically the same seamless texture as the cap itself. But when you do it like this, you see how these look like they're laying down? And now let's scale it. So these lines match up and you can see it looks like one big stone laying down there. So let's click OK and let's fix what I did. Of course I did that on purpose so that I could teach you how to fix things. You believe me, don't you? Alright, so now we're going to zoom in. And we need to grab this one a little bit. Now that was an easy fix, wasn't it? So we'll zoom back out. Click OK. And now let's add a piece in here so you can see how to match them up. So again, we'll use the drawing tools. And I'm just going to zoom in so I can see what I'm doing a little bit better. And I want to match this up here. And we'll say the stones are laying off in that direction. Grab the pattern again. And we'll click on free. Again, it's basically like you're laying these down. And let's scale it. Close enough. Let's zoom out. And you can see how that looks pretty 3D. Now, the other thing I didn't do over here is put a shadow on this one little piece. So let's do that right now. Again, we'll click on it. And we'll duplicate it. We right-click to stop duplicating click on shadow, pick it up and move it into place and again we want it darker so we right click and we'll type in 44 here and as you can see it looks much more realistic now I've placed the shadow and some of the stuff over the steps not a big deal I just click on the steps and send them to the front and it covers it up now in reality I could put a cap on this wall up here but you already know how to do caps so I'm not going to bore you with that and you're not going to really see it too well because your focus is going to be right in here. The other thing too is I need to clean this image up a bit. Don't know what these people would have done down here at the bottom but let's say they would either put it in grass or pavers. So I'm going to put in pavers just because I want to show you how to adjust the perspective on something going at this angle. So again I'm going to zoom out this time by pressing F9 and I'm going to go to the drawing tools and I'm going to just draw right underneath the wall. Again, I don't have to be accurate because I'm going to send the pavers to the back. So I've defined that area. I'll zoom back in. We'll go here to Overfill Products. And I'm going to select some pavers here. Let's use the Bellhaven. So we'll select that. Canyon Creek. Oh, you can't see it was off the screen. So now to adjust this perspective, I need to zoom out by pressing F9 again. I'm going to click on Free free up the handles and again I want to grab this handle here I'm going to line it up with the wall I'm going to bring this one up here and then I need to bring this one out like that so I'm basically creating like a patio here with the perspective handles even though you can't see what's off the screen you have to use your imagination here of course they're a little large so we'll scale them down a little bit more 
looks good to me so I'll click OK I'm going to zoom in and now again to send them behind the wall and the uh, steps that I drew it over I just click send back and now you can see I've got a nice clean line there now another thing they probably would do is remove this ice plant and plant some nice looking plants in there so what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to place some bark or mulch in here so that you could cover up all this ice plant instead of removing it which would be a nightmare so again I'm going to go underneath this wall here I'm going over it because I'm going to send this behind and we'll just draw behind everything so I've defined that area there again I'm going to go in here to products and we'll go to grass and mulch let's bring that on the screen and I'm going to grab a mulch let's use this redwood mulch here and now I've placed that all over the place give it a little bit of perspective because it just looks a little more real that way okay so now I'll click OK and I want to send this behind everything I go send to back so now we've got mulch in that area still looks a little large so I'm going to scale it down okay and we'd probably do the same thing up here but again you've seen how to do it our next step is to place plants in here now because you've seen in the earlier tutorials how to place in plants already I'm not going to bore you with the basics but I just want to show you a little trick so let's bring up a plant here and let's say we want to have this plant going along the top of this retaining wall we're going to start from the back so I'm going to size this down so I want to try and get it close to scale back here in the back and then I'm going to duplicate it moving forward going this way so it'll be on top of each other that's actually probably enough then what you want to do is you want to take the ones in the front and you want to size them up and then size up the next one so that they're getting smaller as they go off into the distance first one just a little bit smaller so you get the idea now of course they all look exactly the same because they are the same and you could go in and you can cut up on different ones just to change them up but that's about it I'm gonna jump ahead and place some more plants in here and then we'll go over saving again so now we're done let's take a quick look at the before let's go up here to window we'll click on the before image and remember what it looked like just a few minutes ago can see how you could transform something in a matter of just a few minutes now of course remember what I told you before in the other tutorial we want to save this as a JPEG and as an LND so first of all it's already saved as an LND but I'm going to go through the process so I'll go up here to file save as let's give it a name we already have it here and make sure the files of type is set to LND which is a work in progress so I'm going to save that and now we want to save it as a JPEG. So we go File, Save As, and we change the files of type to JPEG. You see it automatically changed it here, and we'll save this again. So now we have two files saved. One is a JPEG that you can email to the customer or put on your website, and the other one is your work in progress in case they want to make changes on it.